Welcome. In this short video, we're going to take a look at installing the Movicon Next or Platform Next uh, uh, software on a Windows 10 PC. We've already downloaded the software from the Pergia website and uh, now we just need to extract uh, the setup files from the zipped folder. We can do that by uh, right clicking and just selecting Extract All. Okay, and once the extraction process has completed, uh, we can go ahead and open up the uh, setup folder and look for the setup application. We're going to want to uh, install this with administrator rights, so uh, please uh, right click and say run as administrator. The uh, Movicon Next 3.1 setup should begin. Uh, you can select your install language and click next. Uh, there is some uh, prerequisites that are needed on the PC and the uh, setup will uh, be looking for those uh, to be installed on the PC. If they're not, uh, we'll attempt to install them. In the prerequisite dialog, we can see what's uh, available already on the PC and what's uh, needed. Uh, we can go ahead and select Next and it will go ahead and install the uh, features that are uh, missing from the PC. Once the prerequisite, prerequisites are installed, uh, the setup will continue. We can select Next and go ahead and accept the license term and click Next. If you'd like, uh, you can install additional uh, language resources uh, for the um, interactive uh, development environment, the IDE. Uh, we're just going to install the English resources for now and click Next. In a previous uh, video, we had already installed Microsoft SQL Server um, Express, uh, and the name of the instance was SQL Express. So we're going to just select uh, the default here and select Next. We will be doing a typical installation, so we're going to just select uh, the typical. Uh, you could go into the custom installation, which allows you to uh, select features um, that you'd like to include or exclude from the installation, uh, but we're going to be doing uh, just a standard typical installation for uh, having development and runtime uh, installed uh, on this PC. On this dialog here you can decide if you'd like to send anonymous information to Progea. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it checked and click install. The installation pro process can take uh, upwards of a couple minutes, uh, so as soon as that's done, we'll be right back. Okay, so the installation has uh, finalized here, or finished up. Um, we can see the dialog window here for uh, completing the uh, Movicon Next 3.1 setup. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit finish. Now that we have Movicon Next installed on our PC, we can go ahead and open up the development environment. Uh, we can do that by either double clicking on the desktop icon or uh, searching in the start menu. Uh, we can look under M for uh, Movicon, uh, Movicon Next. And then I'm also going to add a uh, icon to the uh, icon pane here. Once the development uh, opens, it uh, will start or uh, show the startup page uh, with uh, various links to uh, create a new project, open an existing. Uh, you will get the evaluation window until you have a licensed copy of the software. I'm just going to hit close for now. Uh, we can see uh, create a new project, uh, open an existing project. Uh, there's also links for some modules that can be installed like uh, Proline for OEE and uh, Pro Energy for energy monitoring. Um, there is also a folder of example projects. I'm going to click here. You can see that uh, install with the software uh, to show various uh, features and capabilities of the software like the GeoSCADA feature and some of the multi-touch controls and so on. 
So that, in, that uh, concludes uh, this uh, short video on installing Movicon Next, and uh, uh, appreciate your time.